Jesus the Christ. We're so glad once again that God allowed us to be in your presence on the Lord's Day to worship him in spirit and truth. So we'd like to welcome you all to be a part of the worship hour. We thank you for your that you pray with us and pray for us as we worship God. So we ask that you join in with us as we sing along with the choir, pray along with the deacons, and pray for the preacher. And let us have a worship service that God will be pleased. So we pray that you will allow God to press us to come to, to be invited to your homes, that we will be able to worship God. And he'll take us where only he can take us. And we ask you to continue to be in prayer for the end of this season. We are living in a day and age that none of us have ever experienced. But one thing we know we have to do is continue to trust God. So let's God, let God have his way today. Let us worship God. Let us worship God. Let us praise his holy name. God bless you all. Father, 
We pray for one who had a desire to be here, but couldn't be here, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we pray for the victims of the forest fires. We pray for the victims of the flood waters. We pray, Heavenly Father, we pray for the victims of the coronavirus in that family. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we, we pray for those sins in the world. Mm -hmm. We pray that thy will will be done, and we know thy will will be done. We pray for strength to, to move on, Heavenly Father. We trust thee, we love thee, and we pray thee, Heavenly Father. There's no other land we know besides thee. And Father, we pray for this worship hour. We pray for the man going to bring the word. We pray that you build him up where he turned down and give him strength very weak. And we be mindful that you all praise, honor, and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. And you need a breakthrough.
because even though, Lord God, we didn't behave as we ought to behave. Mm -hmm. wow. We didn't do all that we should have done mm -hmm. for such a wonderful God. And Lord God, even though, Lord God, we sometimes went astray, sometimes turned our backs towards you, Lord God, but we just want to thank you for loving us. Despite of who we are, Lord God, yes. for loving us in such a special way, Lord God, for loving us so much, Lord God, that you gave your only begotten Son in Jesus Christ uh, for remission of not his sins, but for remission of our sins, because he was without sin. And Lord God, he died, Lord God, that we might have a right to the tree of life. Yes. So, Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God. For looking past our trespasses, uh, for looking past our iniquities, uh, for seeing hope in us, Lord God, and giving your son Jesus, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, uh, for everything that you've done for us, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, we just pray right now, Lord God, uh, for those who are standing in a need, Lord God. Uh, somebody right now is standing in the need of healing. Uh, we ask for healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody going through a depression state right now. We ask that you, Lord God, touch their mind, Lord God. Someone that in need, Lord God, for you to be, Lord God, a heart fixer and a mind regulator, Lord God. Someone going through a time of grieving, Lord God, of mourning, Lord God. We ask that you. Touch him and comfort him as only you can comfort, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, for a blessing upon those who are in the nursing homes, Lord God. Go and see about them, Lord God. During this time of COVID-19, we're not able, Lord God, but you're able, Lord God, allow your spirit to move upon the nursing home, Lord God, and give healing and give comfort for those, Lord God, in the nursing home, Lord God. In the hospital room, Lord God, we ask that you go and see about those who are on their bed of affliction. See about those who are behind prison walls, Lord God. Lord God, we lift up this nation to you, Lord God. We go into a time or tour, Lord God. But Lord God, we know, Lord God, even though this COVID is running rampant, Lord God, even though the politic politicians are not acting like they should be acting, Lord God, we know, Lord God, there's trouble in the horizon, Lord God. But we know that you are still uh, our very help, Lord God, in a time of trouble, Lord God. We know to look towards you, Lord God, in these times, Lord God. Even in our darkest hours, Lord God, uh, we know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy shall come in the morning light. Uh, Lord God, one of these old days, Lord God, as you said, Lord God, we don't have to worry about no more pain, uh, no more sickness, or no more heartache, Lord God. We just thank you right now, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, right now, Lord God, touch St. Bethlehem family as a whole, Lord God. Touch every church, Lord God, as a whole, Lord God. Bless us, Lord God, individually and bless us together, Lord God. Lord God, now we ask that you bless Pastor Daniels and, and bless his family. Bless his going in and, and his coming out, Lord God, as he stand on the wall, Lord God. Lord God, now we just ask that you bless the man of God, Lord God, that's going to bring the word today, Lord God. Fill him with your Holy Spirit, Lord God, that, that he speak words of boldness, Lord God, encouragement to us, Lord God. Touch him, Lord God, and, and Lord God, after you preach, Lord God, we ask that you minister to him, Lord Lord God, build them up on every leaning side, Lord God, that it continue on the course you set before them, Lord God. We just thank you and you praise your holy name. These and all prayers we ask you, darling son, Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 The Lord is good. As much as everlasting, there's truth and do to all generations. Once again, church family, I ask to continue to keep all my sick and shit in, in, your, in your prayers. Uh, continue to pray for Mother Whitlock and the family. Continue to pray for those who are going through at this present time. Pray for the Coleman family, Mother Coleman, son, will be feeling wise on Tuesday. We keep that in our prayers. Uh, be in prayer for 
the great family came, they passed away this past weekend. I feel like scheduled to be next Saturday. So pray for her husband, children, grandchildren. And then she had a cousin who passed. I don't know when that film's gonna be, but uh, she definitely will be in the present way. God is presented moving, so we ask continue to pray for all. Pray for the baby family. This is a baby who was criminalized on yesterday from at the field home. She was from Russellville, Abbeville, Kentucky. Then we asked if she could pray for our own DJ Johnson. He's at the emergency room right now to speak. So continue to pray for, the, for him and, and the family. Only God knows. Only God knows. Come on. This morning, this afternoon, we have a special guest. We have a lot of copies to bring the word this morning. We have a lot of copies, social months of Concord Missionary Baptist Church. So he's got a good friend of mine, and he preached here before with that with us. So he's going to bring the word. So I want y'all to open up the hearts and minds and listen to the word that he brings. Because the word is supposed to help us, encourage us, instruct us, convict us. Teach us. We all need to be taught how to love, how to treat one another. Amen. 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 So after the next election, after the next election, the next voice you hear be out of love by my Larry Coppers. Amen. God bless you. I bid you greetings this afternoon in the name of Jesus, who is the author and finisher of Amen. I want to thank the first vice of the Cumberland River, South Kentucky Middle Association, Pastor Daniels, for extending this invitation this afternoon to worship with you. As my pastor, state president. 
and my Concord family for praying through this COVID situation thus far. I bless you, uh, Reverend Forney, for reading, this, reading the text this morning and being here. And blessings to all the soldiers in Christ who have labored in the midst of this COVID pandemic. A blessing to the elect of God. Facebook Live as you get this COVID pandemic. Amen. Toil too long. Uh, Pastor Daniels brought me up here to shout and praise the Lord a little bit. So that's what we're going to do this morning. If you turn back to Psalms 23, I'll lift up just one verse. Verse 4. The word of God reads, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you with thanksgiving on our heart, Lord God, for yet another opportunity to lift up to thy name. Lord God, I ask that you just hide me behind that cross, Lord God. The high copies and lift up Jesus, Lord God. So that somebody, anybody, cries out, what must I do to be saved? These and all the blessings we pray. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. This morning I want to speak from the topic in the valley. In the valley. This being a psalm of David, he speaks to being in the valley. This valley can be metaphorically articulated as the valley of life. Mm -hmm. The valley of his life. Mm -hmm. And when we look at valleys and we understand the definition of a valley as defined by Miriam Webster, the valley is a depression of the earth's surface, usually found between a range of hills or mountains. A valley is usually typ typically formed by a stream or river. As we read this text, the text says, Yea, though I walk through the valley. Mm -hmm. This text has comforted a many weary heart. Mm. It has made the uneasy not fear danger. Mm. This verse has been sung by many a dying bed. This verse had helped many a lost soul in a dark moment. Yea, though I walk through the valley. As a believer who believes, I quicken my pace when I walk through danger or uncertainty. But if I am obedient and I'm still and calm and I'm walking with the Lord, I don't have anything to fear. You see, to walk indicates a steady movement forward of a soul, which knows its road, knows its end, resolves to follow the path and feel quite safe as it purposely moves through this valley. We walk through the valley, challenged by sin, threatened by the shadow of death. We emerge on the other side of the valley with heavenly blessings. We don't die in the valley. We don't sleep in the valley. We move through the valley. Mm -hmm. You see, this mention of death is only the porch. It is not the whole house. Mm -hmm. Not the goal of the passage. Well, the living is 
the valley. We are living in a valley in this very moment. We have a COVID-19 valley about us. We have stress and strain and hunger about us in this valley. We have people going without in the valley. The valley represents a portal of travel to the other side of the mountain. It represents the days of this pilgrim's journey. It represents some peaceful times. It represents some troubled times. If we find ourselves in the valley, we find ourselves in rich sheaves of grass. We find ourselves heaped with the animals the inhabitants of the valley. Mm -hmm. We toil with dealing with the things in the valley. We fight through the valley. David says, the valley of the shadow of death. The shadow is what it is, a shadow. It is not the thing. It is not death. For death is a substance that has been removed from our valley. It has been removed and it's only a shadow that remains. Someone said there is a shadow, there must be some light somewhere. So if there is some light somewhere, there is some hope somewhere. See, death may stand by the side of the highway Death may stand lurking at the door, but there is light mm -hmm. that runs that shadow of death away. Mm -hmm. And when that light shines down on you, you can hold on. You can feel the presence of the Lord. Nobody is afraid of a little bitty shadow. See, a shadow can't stop a man's pathway. A shadow can't impede a man's movement. A shadow is what it is. A shadow, a glimmer, something to bypass on your way to your blessing. In the text it says, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. He does not say there shall be any evil. He had to go beyond the assurance that everything was going to be all good. There was going to be a little trouble in your way. There was going to be a little crying sometime. But I got it on good report. I will fear no evil. And the reason why I won't fear any evil. And this is where we need to shout. For thou art with me. You see, when I'm a saved soul and I've cried out, my Lord, my God, he is with me. See, a little child can be afraid when he goes in the dark room, but it can cry out, Mama, Daddy, Mama and Daddy will come running. You see, I have a little child and at night she cries out, says I don't want to be in the dark by myself, and Daddy comes running, and I can feel the comfort from her heart. When daddy comes running, you see, daddy represents calm, represents safety. Like thy rod and thy staff. You see, the rod and the staff, they govern the flock. They guide them along that path. That rod and that staff is the sovereignty of the Lord. 
represent no shepherd tools that can be used to guide you along this pilgrim's journey. And as we go through this valley, mm -hmm. we can be comforted. Because Daddy got his rod and his staff yeah. to beat back all the evil, all right. to hold back all the fear. You see, life has its ups and its downs, its peaks and its valleys. Surely, as we sit here, this morning, as we stream out this morning, somebody may find themselves in a space, in a valley. No matter what your valley is, you don't need to be afraid. For the Lord is with you. You see, church, the valley is a low ground situated between two hills. Psalms 121 says, I will lift up my eyes from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the earth. And if he made the earth, he made this valley I'm in. And he made those hills from whence I look to receive my help. You see, Colossians 2 and 14 said, it's been nailed to the cross. It's been wiped away. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been cleared been by my Lord. See, my Lord had left the valley. And he's gone up on the hill what's coming from my help. Up on the hill called Calvary. And you see, I can rejoice. I can rejoice because in the valley there was a virgin bird. And I'm encouraged because in the valley there is a child with the sweetest name I know. I can cry tears of joy because in the valley there is a miracle worker. I can relax in the shepherd's pastor in the valley because there was a sacrifice for me and for you. You see, I will receive my blessings from the Lord in the valley All right. because there was an old rugged cross. This old rugged cross gave me love in my heart in the valley because there was a borrowed tomb. I have a heart filled with love. I am free in the valley because the stone was rolled away. You see, the stone was rolled away. So I am saved through goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. You know why goodness and mercy saved me? Because he rose on the first day of the week. So in the valley, I look to the hills. I see the hills. I hold my head up high in the valley because there is the sun. Not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N. Shining down on me where he's prepared a place. So if I serve the Lord in the valley, when I come out of the valley, there's a place for me and there's a place for you. I don't worry because the Lord is with me. The Lord is with us on this pilgrim's journey. He, the Lord is guiding us, even when we're weary. Oh, when we're weary, we're tired. The Lord is with us. The Lord is keeping us. The Lord has his arm of protection about us. I can rest in the Lord's bosom. The songwriter says, there will be peace in the valley. There will be peace for me in the valley. There will be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble for me to see in the valley. You see, there is a lamb that sacrificed himself for me 
in the valley. He keeps me. He keeps me when nobody else will keep me. He loves me when nobody else will love me. He found something good in me when nobody else saw good in me. I am standing here today just a nobody trying to tell everybody how to get through the valley. So if there's somebody out there that needs to get through your valley, lay it at the altar. Leave it in the past. Let the shepherd guide your way. I love you. God bless you. God keep you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You heard the word of God preached by the man of God. There's help in the valley. There's hope in the valley. There's love in the valley. Jesus is in the valley. Whatever you're going through, whatever you might be feeling, there's hope for you in the valley. All you have to do is accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Savior. The doors of the church are open. You can come for Christian spirits or for baptism. As you see on the website, the you can call email that and somebody get in touch with you. There's no need to go through it the valley on your own, even in this time of uncertainty, there's still help. We must look to the hills, which come to the heaven. Reverend Coffin, that preach today, all you have to do is turn your life over to Jesus Christ, and he'll guide you to his doors, the doors.
in this season. We want everybody to have a happy Thanksgiving, but we still want to remind folks we still live in this COVID-19. So we ask you all to be safe and take care of yourself. Don't take it for granted. And, and if you, there's a need for anyone who's, who don't have a Thanksgiving box or need Thanksgiving or need any help, need any help, we ask that you get a whole lot of teachers and our trustees and let them know. And, and, the, and we know everybody living in the pride and there's no, nobody won't break up. So we're still in the invitation ourselves. We want to show love. We're, we're volunteering our services because that's what the church is here for. We want to we especially thank our, 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 our video department for taking time to be in the recorders. We want to thank our trustees for being faithful in the stewardship of taking care of the needs of the church. We want to thank our church, church secretaries. And just want to thank everybody in this day and age where our church is having to do business in a different manner. Our missionaries continue to to do outreach service. Our brotherhood was able to help support the district and give out over 125 boxes. God's work was to continue to go on. Just because we can't come to the building, we're still able to do God's work. So we ask, we, we, we invite y'all to be able to stay apart, stay connected. And we ask that, and we thank you for, for, for your faithful service down through the years. Especially, when we ask that we got still got what we do. Because of souls are, are, are still must be told about Jesus Christ. God bless you and God keep you. Let us pray. Tell God we come now and say thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this worship hour. Lord, we thank you for the song of sons for the red prayers pray. We thank you for your visitation of the Holy Spirit. Father God, we thank you for, for, for Reverend Cop to bring us in the valley. Reminding us all that, that just because we're in the valley, we're either going in we're either coming out or right in the middle. But no matter where we are in the fact, you promise to be there with us. So we thank you for that word. We pray that everything was done decent and all, and you have you have glorified the church. Now, Father God, we pray that you will continue to watch over and keep us in our everlasting curse. Build a fence and a shit a hedge around us. And we'll be mindful of you all in our praise. Now, may the grace of God and love of Jesus Christ, we can be in the Holy Spirit. Rest will abide henceforth now and forevermore. That was all said together. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Amen. Amen.